Hi everyone, this is YML and today I would like to talk about a subject that I've been personally guilty of neglecting until very recently, namely what is machine learning fairness and how we can measure it. With this video, I would like to increase the awareness towards this subject because I believe it can bring a lot of value to our society in the long run, even though others may have a different opinion than me. To start with, I would like to make sure that we are on the same page regarding what it means for a statistical model to be unfair, and to do that, I will use the following definition from Wikipedia, which says that the decisions made by computers after a machine learning process may be considered unfair if they were based on variables considered sensitive. Examples of these kinds of variables include gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, disability, and more. So, in short, a machine learning model is unfair if it gives favorable outcomes based on sensitive human features like gender, ethnicity, sexual orientation, age, and so on. And such biases outcomes may have a negative impact on a society where algorithms make important decisions like who should get their loan approved or who should you call for an interview. For instance, back in 2019, Apple car machine learning algorithm was biased and it gave men more credit limits on their cards in comparison to women, causing a lot of outreach from their customers because of this issue. Now let's see how we can measure the fairness of a model. The measurement I've seen being used the most and that can give you a quite reasonable understanding of the biases happening inside your model is called disparate impact. It is measured as the fraction between the probability of receiving the favorable outcome given that your class is unprivileged and the probability of receiving the favorable outcome given that your class is privileged. To add a little bit more clarity here, the favorable outcome may be something like receiving a loan and the privileged and privileged class may be something like the gender, male or female. In practice, the disparate impact is usually measured by Counting the numbers of samples that receive the favorable output from the unprivileged class over the number of unprivileged samples and dividing it by the number of samples that receive the favorable output from the privileged class over the number of privileged samples. Let's look at a simple example to see what I mean by that. Let's say that this is our data that we have collected. The green dots represent the privileged samples and the red ones represent the unprivileged samples. Also, the circles with an X mean that the sample has received a favorable outcome by using our model. By applying the disparate impact formula, we get the following numbers. 5 out of 9 unprivileged samples receive a favorable outcome, while 7 out of 11 privileged samples receive a favorable outcome. This gives us a disparate impact of approximately 87.3%. If the disparate impact is low enough, then you may say that your model is unfair or biased towards a specific value from a class that we consider sensitive. In industry, a thumb rule is that if the disparate impact is lower than 80%, then your model is not fair and you should mitigate this issue before putting the model into production. How would you do that, you may ask? That's a video for another time. Fortunately, in our case, the disparate impact is 87.3%, so we are good to go. Great job, everyone! This was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's fair for me to ask you to like it and to subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Cheers!